Niles just you know consistency for him in everything that he does technique and then uh, you know understanding of, of, of our system and, and how we play and instinctual movements of a linebacker all those things that young guys struggle with uh, you know Niles is in a battle with that and uh, but he's he works hard it's very important to Niles Morgan so he's a fun guy to coach I love coaching Niles uh, no doubt in your mind that he'll get there event he'll get to the level to he'll be able to play to the level of his ability yeah eventually he will definitely get to that level yep. and then Coney Tavon's just a baby you know he's he, people forget he's been here for you know two semesters now but really he's still just a freshman so there's a lot in his plate you know and he's he's uh, running out there behind a guy like Jalen Smith who he's pretty good yeah so there's a there's a drop off when right. he's in there and Tavon's going to be fine, uh, just like Niles. He works hard. It's important to him. Uh, he's a little bit further behind, you know, because he is just a true freshman, and Niles has an entire season under his belt. Uh, but we need we need Tavon to come along pretty quickly. Last question, personnel-wise here. Uh, Bilal, I see that he's playing real linebacker. Did you did you project him there coming in, or was he? Did, were you thinking more in terms of outside? Well, our will is, is also considered for us an outside linebacker. He walks out in coverage over top of a number two receiver. Um, very much like the Sam, but the Sam is to the field where most of the, the speed of the formation is. So, uh, But we see, we see, um, we saw him as a, as a will linebacker. Thank of all you. the position coaches, uh, you've got to be one of them smiling the biggest. I mean, it just seems like you've got not only athleticism, but some great character guys on that side. That, that must be fun to coach every day. Oh, they're great. No, they're awesome guys. Every every meeting is awesome. And, you know, it's very important to them. They work hard and uh, and they study the game, you know. And, and I think that the leadership part of it, which is an area that coming out of spring, we had met with quite a few guys about trying to improve that. They're working on it, you know, and, and leadership and being, you know, getting the job done, but also, you know, being better teammates and and um, holding each other accountable to it. Are there times maybe as a coach that you can't put everything in just because of the personnel you have, but with these guys maybe you can, you can throw the whole book at them? Yeah, you can throw a lot at, the, at these linebackers. You know, it's they, they've there's some experience there that allows you to, to throw quite a bit at them. What was it maybe that you saw in the Music City Bowl that, that these guys bonded together and they came together as one? I mean, it just seemed like they... Uh, one of the guys said they were having fun because Malik was out there having fun. Another sure. guy said the Brotherhood just said we, we we're not going to take it anymore. We're going to win and, and yeah, come I, together. I think I think their manhood was challenged a little bit, okay. you know, from the season, you know, and and uh, they wanted to step up and show that they could be a physical football team, in particular physical defense. And they had fun, but they also, you know, they they were more fo more focused and more in tune to um, just that physicality piece that I think was missing in the later half of the year. And, and they stepped up with that and, and they played for each other, you know, played as a brotherhood, played together and, and, and really enjoyed doing that.